Time to play with some clay. Just gonna do a little touching up on the face. I don't want to do a lot because I like what I've got on the face. I'm using the GoPro today because I can put it right on my sculpting stand. There's some little holes in his eye that I need to uh, adjust. This is where not spending a life smoking cigarettes or drinking coffee gives me a steady hand. I gotta put some texture into this mustache. I'm using a real small loop wire tool from kenstools.com. That's K E N S tools.com. I'm using a stick to brace my hand. Some of these uh, mountain men started out their careers on the ocean. Hugh Glass, who the Revenant, 
movie was made about. Started out his career at sea with pirates. And uh, somehow he got away from that life to being a fur trapper. In the uh, winter time, to pass the time in Fort Hall, which is in Idaho, if you're going from Idaho Falls to Pocatello, Idaho, you're passing by Fort Hall. And uh, they would spend their winters at Fort Hall in uh, lean twos or teepees or cabins. And they'd pass the time, they'd be uh, reading books uh, by Balzac, Shakespeare, and things like that. Uh, they were not stupid men, they just were adventurous. And they found they could make a living trapping fur. Fur trapping period only lasted something like 10 or 20 years. There's a, a book by a trapper who uh, recorded his uh, life as a trapper. And uh, his name was Osborne Russell. And uh, he trapped along the Yellowstone and up in Yellowstone, uh, what is now Yellowstone Park. And uh, reading his book, which is actually a compilation of all his journals, you really get to understand something about how trappers uh, would uh, know where they're at. And they could figure out where somebody was camped because uh, they would camp usually where a couple of rivers would meet. And uh, one time Mr. Russell was uh, trapping with a friend up in Yellowstone and uh, they got attacked by Indians. He uh, received a bad wound to the back of his uh, knee, in other words behind his, uh, in the joint of his uh, leg. and. Uh, he traveled all the way from where he was wounded down to Fort Hall for help. And Fort Hall was a good 150, 200 miles away. And he did that with a wounded leg. They were not weaklings by any means. on the back of his head and uh, I can't set my camera up here good enough to get a good shot of what I'm doing but I'm just working on the texture of his hair and uh, I'll do that and come back. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see but I'm working on his ear right now.
because part of the uh, tripod it's sitting on decided to give up. And, uh, plastic tripods cannot be rely upon, relied upon like old metal ones. Give me metal every time. But we get what we get. Your view. What he's got on as a headdress is a uh, cloth that he's wrapped around his head. They didn't all wear fur caps. And my camera's running out of battery. <laughs> so I'm going to have to get this uh, GoPro recharged up. But uh, I got still a lot more work to do on the uh, base and the hair of the uh, mountain man. And uh, I'll do that Monday. And then I'm going to work on her. And uh, finally work on the baby's face. Uh, I had a gentleman comment that he thought the... Uh, foot of the mountain man was a little bit big, but uh, if he's comparing him to the size of the uh, female, it would be bigger. And it is uh, the head length of uh, the mountain man, and that's how you generally uh, figure out the uh, proportion of your foot. So it's, it's fine. Alright, that's uh, going to be it for now. Uh, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe and click that little bell so that you get uh, updates whenever I do an update and on my videos. And remember, I do have instructional DVDs that uh, are for sale on how to sculpt, taking advantage of my over 50 years of sculpting. All right, I guess I'll get going and go fix dinner. <laughs> Good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.